In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download iCloud Photos. And uh, there are multiple approaches to this because you can, of course, enable some settings that make sure that all of the photos are in a sync. So if you go to your settings on your iPhone, tap on your name, and here on your iCloud, you can see that here are all of the settings and stuff, and the photos is one of them. For me, it is turned off. So sync with iPhone, when I enable this option, it means that it's going to store my photos in iCloud. You can view and share them with all of your devices. So it's going to take photos from all of the devices that use the same iCloud, upload it to one cloud storage, and you're going to have access to, to each of the photos from each of your devices, which works well. It is definitely a good way to go about it. But for this, you're going to most likely need an iCloud subscription because with the basic five gigabytes, you're not going to do much. So if you're not paying for your iPhone subscription, then you probably don't want to do that as well. Then my photo stream is something different, which perhaps could work for you better. This only takes the last 30 days of new photos and make sure that all of your devices can view them uh, across each other. So this may be much more useful. However, there are some different options as well. Well, of course, if we are already in the settings, I can swipe down all the way till here and check out the photos section and here iCloud photos, which means that only on this device, so we are setting it up only on this iPhone, the previous settings were applying to the entire Apple ID that you use. This only applies to this iPhone, so perhaps you want to turn it on on this one and turn it off on your iPad and stuff. So pretty much the same settings, but only specified for the iPhone which you are currently on. Anyways, if you want to download some photos from iCloud without a syncing or performing these tasks, you can do it as well, but I recommend you to use Safari for that. So iCloud is now redesigned, it looks much better. Anyways, you're gonna to go to iCloud.com using Safari, click on sign in. This is awesome because you can use your uh, Face ID to, uh, to sign in or even a passcode, so it's very useful. Uh, to do it uh, that way. Anyways, let's say that you open up one of the photos. It, for example, is uh, this one right here. You can easily download it. Of course, uh, this is your iCloud photo. So this is your stuff that you uploaded in here. Anyways, you can share it with the share icon or tap on the three dots and you can add it to album, but uh, that applies only to iCloud. So you can only uh, like uh, locate it or reorganize it when you click on add to album, but click on download and now it should be downloaded. So click on the download again. You can see it is now being downloaded. So tap on that and here are the downloads. Tap on the photo and you can see that you currently have it uh, inside of the files app. I tapped on it. It created um, a zip file. So it unlike unpacked it and now this is the photo. So it's kind of a bit like more tedious process. Now I can hit share and click on the save image and this option is going to save it to my photos library. So this is just how it works. Besides that, I believe that if you're going to go here, if you hold down on it, something should happen as well, but it doesn't really do anything. It just, just plays of the live photo. So you can only download it that way. It's like I say, it's a bit more complicated and perhaps you want to use the iCloud syncing where you don't need to do any of this stuff, but yeah, just turn off whichever settings you want. But one thing that I hope happened is that you found the video valuable. And if you did, hit the thumbs up and also subscribe to Fox Tech and check out this video right here. Thanks a lot and see you guys in the future.